rationalizing sword. In mathematics, the square root of any number or variable is not allowed at the denominator of any number or variable. For example, 6 divided by the square root of 3. This is not stable in mathematics, and this is not allowed. What we are going to do is, for this, you are going to write 6 divided by root 3. You multiply this, root 3, divide root 3. This is what you're going to do to stabilize it. Next, 6 multiplied by root 3 will give you 6 root 3. Next, add the denominator. Root 3 multiplied by root 3 will give you 3. Next, 3 here is 1 and 3 here is 2. And our answer is 2 root 3. This is our answer. Remember that root a times root a will give you a. Root 4 times root 4 will give you 4. Root n times root n will give you n. This is very important whenever you're rationalizing swords. Let's consider 1 divided by root 5. This is not allowed in mathematics. What we're going to do is 1 over root 5 multiply by root 5 divide by root 5. Next, 1 multiply by root 5 will give you root 5. And from this rule, at the denominator, the square root of 5 multiplied by the square root of 5 will give you 5. We cannot simplify this further in sort form, and this becomes our answer. If we have 4 divided by root 2, here we are going to have 4 divided root 2 multiplied by root 2 divided by root 2. We are going to have 4 root 2 divided by root 2 times root 2 is 2. 2 here is 1 and 2 here is 2. And our answer here is 2 root 2. You can see that rationalizing swords are easy to handle. Let's consider the addition and subtraction of linear swords. Let's add these swords. You can see that this is root 3 and it is 1 root 3. We don't usually write the 1. This is root 3 here. Here we got root 2. Let's assume that this root 3 is an orange and this root 2 here is probably mango that means this is also an orange we're going to have one orange plus five oranges if we add this and this together we're going to get six oranges However, this is two mangoes. And we can't add these two mangoes to these three oranges. And this becomes our answer. We can't do anything further with it. Next, let's consider this question. Simplify this sword. If we take each of these, probably to be banana. We are going to say seven bananas minus one banana. We are going to have six bananas. The six bananas minus 
these six bananas definitely will leave us with zero. This, our answer is zero. Next, let's consider this question. We're going to simplify this sort. Square root of 50 minus the square root of 18 plus 5 root 3. What we're going to do here is we're going to bring out this 50 and we're going to have root 50. We're going to draw a line. This is 50. I will start with 2. 2 divided by 50 will give you 25. 2 cannot go without a remainder. 3 cannot go without a remainder. 4 cannot go without a remainder. 5 can go. 5 into 25 is 5. Next, 5 can still go. 5 into 5 is 1. Once I get 1, I stop. Next, we are going to pay. This got a pay. This is 5. This 5 is free. And here, 5 is free. 2 got no pay. This 2 will go into the root. Hence, the square root of 50 is the same thing as 5 root 2. We have a minus for 18. The square root of 18, I will draw a line. This is 18. I will start with 2. 2 will go into 18, 9. 2 cannot go into 9 without a remainder. I will try 3. 3 will go into 9, 3. 3 can still go. 3 will divide 3, 1. Once I get 1, I stop. Next, we are going to pay. This 3 has a pay. It is free. However, 2 got no pay. 3 is free, but 2 is not free. The square root of 18 is 3 root 2. Here, I will have 3 root 2. Next, here, I got a plus. And 5 root 3 is still here. We can simplify this further. Next, if root 2 is mango and root 3 is orange, this is also mango. You can see that 5 mangoes minus 3 mangoes will leave us with 2 mangoes. This is an orange. We cannot add these 5 oranges to these 2 mangoes. We just leave these 5 oranges here. And this becomes our answer. We can't simplify this any further.